a very common uh, problem is for anyone who's doing marketing uh, online is you're advertising across all these different platforms. How do you get your data together into one place so you can look at you know, all of your line items in one place? How much do you spend on Google Ads? How much do you spend on Facebook Ads in one table? versus having to open up you know, the two different dashboards and, and look at them separately. So that problem is obviously, it's a large problem if you are working at a single company and you have one of each account, right? It's, it's annoying. If you're a digital agency and you have 50 clients and you have 200 accounts that you're managing, uh, it's intractable. You just really can't do it in any super organized way, or it's very, very difficult to do it in an organized way and consistent way in spreadsheets. Um, so what we basically confronted this, this problem as it came to us, right? So we're working with a digital agency in California. Um, we're helping them build these, you know, dashboards and Google Sheets and Data Studio. And at some point realized we had the scaling issue. And how are we going to get around this? Uh, so we evolved this process that we call the agency data pipeline. And basically, Mariah, if we can switch back to the um, screen here. Basically, what it is is a bridge between Google Sheets and BigQuery. So we made a what we call the tracking plan, right? This has all of an agency's data in Sheets. And I think this is probably the best example that we've put together of how do Sheets and BigQuery interact and how you can use one as a bridge to the other. So basically, this tracking plan has settings for um, everything you'd ever want to set up. And it, this is just a template, so it doesn't have data in it, unfortunately. But this you would fill out with all of your sites um, and all of the data feeds, right? So if you want you know, Facebook ads or Google ads data feed, all of your account mappings and conversion goals, and basically all of the indicative data uh, that you would need in here, um, and then you know, this sheet is set up. We have a Google Apps Script uh, connection that's set up that will push data up to um, BigQuery on a schedule. And we have triggers in the back end that will push this data, these settings, right, from Sheets up to BigQuery. And then toggling to a little SQL model here. So then we'll basically write SQL models that will pull in these settings from Google Sheets. And why this is really important is a non-technical user at a digital agency can go into a sheet, um, set up some new settings, right? Some new Google Analytics channel mappings or something like that. Set up those settings. Those get ingested into BigQuery. And then in the SQL models, you know, we, we just ingest those downstream. So for a non-technical user to interface with BigQuery, they can use sheets, right, as their kind of form, as their data entry vehicle. And then those can automatically be ingested. And in the case of like Google Analytics, this is why I love DBT and, and why I highly recommend it. DBT allows you to use what's called Jinja uh, syntax or notation. I'm not exactly sure what the, the technical term for it is, but it's called Jinja. And uh, you can write you know, for loops and if statements and set variables uh, that will generate your SQL models for you. Um, and you know, at Coding for Loser, we've published a bunch of you know, kind of open source uh, data models for uh, common data sources, right? So Facebook ads, uh, Google ads or AdWords, Shopify, stuff like that. There are tons of examples on the Coding is for Losers blog uh, that you can pick up and use.